Welcome to this last topic on deformation where we will create an envelope deformer around our character's torso. Um, so I have the torso selected here and I have the body centered over in my node view right here. So I'm, bring up, I'm going to bring up this peg uh, slightly to accommodate the deformation that will appear here. And always, as with any other type of deformation, I'm going to select the um, drawing layer first. And then I'm going to go over to my deformation toolbar and select my rigging tool. And um, one of the things that we might want to consider first is that if I'm going to create my deformation all around my character's torso is that most of it is going behind the arm, so if I want it to be precise, maybe what I would like to do is first go to my node view and create a display so that I can isolate that part and be able to see just that. So you can go and get your display from your node library or by pressing Control y to bring, uh, to bring up a display. Connect it under your torso and then on your little drop down here you can select display 2. So now I have this here and I'm going to uh, use the rigging tool and go over to the tool properties so we can see a little bit more what is going on here. So in the previous deformation exercises that we've done we have used the automatic mode which is this one right here. It is essentially the same as using the bone or the curve mode, uh, these are all just separated, in, broken down into uh, two different ones, but the automatic mode, depending on how you create your deformation, uh, will create either a bone if you click, or a curve if you click and drag to create your points, just as we've seen before. Now, this option right here is the one that we'll be using. It is called the envelope mode and it's essentially what it does. It's going to create an envelope all around our torso right here. So it works pretty much the same as the curve. We will see the slight difference uh, that we have once we are done creating our rig. So I'm going to click on my envelope mode right here. Make sure you have it selected before we start our deformation chain and I'm going to create the first point just as I would with the curve deformation by clicking and dragging to create our first handle. I don't want to have too many points on my rig because uh, I, I wanted to stay flexible without necessarily having to animate multiple points uh, when I get to the animation stage so maybe something like four would be quite fine for this little guy and I'm going to click and drag and once I get to my last point um, I don't necessarily want to create another point that is really close to this one I would actually want to use the same uh, anchor point to join this entire thing um, so if I press down on alt as you can see the symbol that I have uh, on my mouse cursor is changing to something else. So I'm going to select this and click and drag to create my other handle so that they join together. Now red means that you can still edit so I'm going to tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit more suitable for my character to move. And once I want to test it I can come and get the transform tool. So essentially that is the big difference with the uh, envelope deformation from the curve deformation is that you can join these two parts and now move them as just one point. So I can still move the Bezier handles individually but I can move this point without having to, um, to play around with it too much. Now sometimes you might have little things happening here uh, don't worry about it too much. Often it is just uh, not going to show once you render out your image, just as I did right here. As you can see, it's still a plain color. So make sure that you render out if you see little uh, bugs like this happening, uh, little visual tidbits that are not so great.
And now that I have this view done, I could go and do my other view as well. I'm going to select my torso, go over to the toolbar, select create new deformation chain. Now a second chain is created and I can come and get the rigging tool. Again, making sure that the envelope mode is on. Going to click and drag, click and drag. And so on until I get to the last one. If I make a mistake and forget to join both of my, uh, both of my points together and that they are on separate points inside my rig, I can come and select that point right here. I'm going to center on selection to find the curve module or the curve node that I have inside of my node library and I'm going to open up its tool properties and now I have all of the different values that are creating my handle and the envelope parameters are essentially what are making this different from just a curve deformation is I can activate the close contour option which will join, as you can see, my two points together. So this will join the root to my last point right here. So I can press close, and now if I go and move this, it will move the entire thing all together. So you can go ahead and create your deformation chain. Once that is done, you can turn off your display, try to animate it a bit, see if it works to your liking. If I want to have a a bit of a jiggle to my character when he walks or when he jumps. This is really a great tool to do so. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the deformation, uh, the deformation tutorials and I will see you guys for the next few finish up touches of our rig. Thanks, see you there.